Hello there everyone, welcome back. We had ourselves a fun series of matches last episode. We tried to ram our opponent to death and despite him not abiding by the honor code, he we still just barely won it felt or just barely well, we were about to win it seems like there. There was a lot of possibilities for it there, despite the fact I was taking torpedoes and heavy cans all that time. So it goes to show you just how valuable Brace for Impact is for engagement like that, because I was. That alone was probably what uh, got it as close as it actually was. Nonetheless, it was still fun. And then we had this ridiculous uh, destruction of this poor Tau player. I wasn't even trying to aim for his protector, but it nearly died anyway at the very start of the match. And that's kind of mega cans for you, aren't they? It's that random chance, since they don't actually have uh, armor-piercing rounds, hell, I think this is like the only prow weapon, not including Tau Railguns, mind you, because technically they're not prow weapons, that don't have armor pe penetration or armor piercing on them, which is definitely different, and because of that, it leaves it open to a lot of RNG, if I'm having to deal with 75 armor, which in that case, I was in the winning... I was in the winning exchange, it seems like, just from that alone. Holy crap. I doubt that's going to happen again for a while, though. Alright. First match of the day, and wow, we're going to fight us some Space Marines. Although, sadly, he is an Admiral Level 3, but this is going to be a very interesting test. Just to see just how much of a pain in the ass Space Marine armor can be. Since they are 75 armor all around, but to make up for it, they have less health. So this will be interesting. This will be very, very interesting. I wonder if I want to go with three terrors, so I can make more use of the like the dis disrupt the sap. Really, if nothing else, I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I would like to have a couple of bashes as well, but yeah, let's try it there. I'm not exactly sure what kind of composition I want, especially with 400 points. Only have to wiggle. The only kind of wiggle room I have. But we'll try it. We'll have two onslaughts to constantly harass and chip them down. But the strategy stays the, stays the same. And more and more the UI seems to be bugging out there. I'm really convinced that this is because of the orcs. I'm not sure why. Because hell, they got so many things bugging out. I don't know if you noticed every now and then. But even after I pop the boosters. I don't know if it's actually intentional or not. But they still get that little random boost of speed. That happens as part of the big red button. Even after the boosters themselves are off, they still get that little tiny random speed boost. So I don't know if that's actually intentional or not. Or, but nonetheless, I guess I'm going to benefit from it, as it were. And I'm going. I'm still convinced he's got like a 200. Was he's got like 500, maybe 525 point bonus on me. So this will be interesting. I don't think he has. He has his second strike cruiser, but that is a possibility though. So he can still, well even then, if he's using vanguards, he's going to outmaneuver me for days, quite frankly. Which is where Disrupt the Sap comes in. That's where that comes in. Sadly, I don't actually have any beacons to reveal him, so that may have been an oversight. Just a little bit. I have ways to keep him from micro warp jumping, not so much for game vision, unless I want to use my... Ravagers, my onslaughts for that, which I'm kind of convinced using them more for harassment. And also, I hear beacon. I hear beacon. We're dodging said beacon. I'm not giving the benefit of boring torpedoes. This is one of those few matchups where actually dodging the beacon is like the most important thing. Because my armor doesn't do crap for those boring torpedoes, and I'd rather not take additional critical hits if I can help it. He is done firing torpedoes, so. Oh. I didn't even notice there was a second one, but we could still fix that too. So, two fan guards. Three fan guards. He does have the Stormhawk, so. Let's get on moving. Let's try and tighten this noose a little bit. And try not to get hit by torpedoes. There, we're looking good there. Oh. This one stopped, so it's going to get spotted, unfortunately. Oh well. He already launched torpedoes, and as far as I'm concerned, we're okay for now. Which, if anything, it just gives me incentive to boost on forward. So, let's see. Boring torpedoes. Yep, he has boring torpedoes. So, 
this isn't too terrible. Because I do have cruisers kind of to serve as additional board. <coughs> Excuse me there. I still have I still have cruisers to give me point defense shots. So it isn't too terrible. I just got to make sure these ships are actually shooting with their point defense to help minimize that. Just a little bit. And then when all hell breaks loose. Because thankfully these are all temporary results anyway. Even if my res my generators or engines were destroyed. So hopefully this helps some. Spread out the damage. Ooh. Yeah that one beacon there alone kind of gives me a hard time. But now is our chance to go on in. That's the hope anyway. I just need to identify him. That's really all I need to do. And once I identify him, this will make this a lot more easier, especially when I'm about to reveal him now. Oh, you lucky beggar. Okay. Make my life easy. Thank you. Now, I rather just reload. Reload, because he is playing that route. He's just ignoring me. Get disrupt the saps to hit. And just slow him down. There, that's what I like to see. You were doing fine until he decided to boost. Now, did my prow actually just get destroyed? Oh, my prow did get destroyed. Dang it. Oh well. Reload's in action. We're going in close. We're slowing him heavily. And now Mega Cans are going to hit him shortly. Actually. Let's just Mike Warp Jump. And give him a hand, shall we? There we go. Although, he did knock out the engines of this one ship, so... Okay, dex has gone for that, so there goes like almost all his main weaponry. Ooh. There's another nice ram. Now ram me again, please. Thank you. This is a little bit mean, but hell, I kind of have to be brutal. I need to be vicious, otherwise I'm going to lose horribly just because of his kind shenanigans. Especially with his bonus points. I kind of have little choice in the matter, so... Take this seriously, and give him a hard time. Also, can I boost? Yeah, I can boost, but this is not going to go anywhere. But, we got tractor cans. If, well, I take that back. Tractor can does not want to work. I'm worried something broke again. There, that's more like it. Yeah, that definitely feels mean, doesn't it? it? It's a serious threat, though. It's a damn serious threat. It's a damn serious threat. Look what the hell he's doing to my one poor bash that has no health. Or it has no engines, for that matter. I kind of need to kill him. Aw. Now he's just raging at me. Yeah, that's a little BM, but hey. Come on, it's kind of, it's kind of the play style there with his speed. I got little choice but to kind of kite him. Or not kite him, but try and chase him down. Because this is about to die now, and sadly, repairs are not available. Oh uh, well. Can we find a gas cloud? Let's... I think we change our tactics around a bit. I think we do this a little bit differently. It's going to take a few moments to get there, but with two of his ships gone and only one of mine about to go, I think I can do this. Although this poor cruiser is not going to be able to do a whole lot. Now boost on Ford, if they'll let me. Maybe I bugged it out accidentally. Oh, did my micro warp jump bug it out? You know that's going to screw me over for the rest of this matchup, I think. If that's true. We'll have to see. Yep, he's still not going. I think. Hard to say. But, this gas cloud will help a ton there. 
And let's see, with beacons, he still has an auger probe, so that's going to be a problem. Oh, uh, well. I'll do what I can. I'm going to hide myself. I could still do a ridiculous amount of damage, and I might as well let this thing go. Try and get a little bit of experience, but this bugging out ship is going to be a pain. It's going to be a little bit of a pain. Hell, I wonder, can I even burn retros with this thing now? Nope, it's just going to ram me right now, I think, if I don't turn around. Ah, oh, dang, it's so close. Yeah, this thing is not not cooperating very well with controls, unfortunately. Hell, did I even get detected there? Well, considering the boring the boring torpedoes that are coming this way, I kind of have to take a face, face maneuvers regardless. Oh, well. Once I hide myself again, I should be okay. But again, this goes down to what I was saying before. I may have bugged out the orc cruiser. Nonetheless, this will deal with a lot. Seriously? I'm s okay, he's firing dumb fire torpedoes. Okay, I was wondering if they were still tracking me or not. We will see. We'll wait and see. And we'll give him a hard time there. Although he is going to fire in our beacon relatively soon. But, so long as I can keep sapping, maybe that's not a bad thing. Because after all, he wants to rage about my uh, skills, right? Look who's got it easy right now, and it ain't me. Oop, th that was a mistake, wasn't it? Now, let's keep hitting this thing, shall we? Oops, that wasn't what I wanted. It's what I'm getting, though, regardless. Well, he's getting slowed at least, so... And there, weapons destroyed. All that's gone. Now we have to deal with this knife 5 armor. And now his thrusters are gone. Oh, dang it. Now I bugged out both their crap. That's always fun, isn't it? Eh, uh, well. There will be one light cruiser left. After this one's gone, but we still need to kill its shield, so... Bit of a problem. That's right, you come over this way. Sadly, not getting hit I would like. But this is could still be mine. His shields are gone, I just gotta hit with the sap cans and do some permit damage. And now I can't even boost, so... That is the only thing that's working against me right now. No boosters, but I... In all honesty... Is... The tiny little micro boosts I'm getting actually helping me or hindering me? I would argue they're hindering me, considering I would get those random boosts anyway. So it's hard to say, to be honest. Really hard to say, but I'm curious about that. To an extent. Now, get the repairs going there. Your prowl, unfortunately, is gone. And I have little choice but to destroy his shields again. Try and destroy his shields. Perfect. And the sap cans can help out with the rest. And there's unfortunately not much else I could do. We're going to be here for a while, I think, folks. I do have lock on to help maximize my damage. His brace for impact's gone. So let's just finish him off, shall we? And hopefully I can get the reload to help speed up my boosters. Because, damn it, I would love nothing more right now than to just tractor cannon you right now. But now I can't even tractor cannon. Seriously? This is just getting better and better for me, I'm not going to lie. There, now it's working. I think that was just a bug with the cooldown or something. Because I accidentally boosted with my onslaught, that's about to die. 
Oh well. We're gonna kill a shield once more with the Mega Cans, hopefully. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah, because reload's probably also bugging this, which makes this irritating. Because I have no idea if it's actually working or not. And Sharon is gone. This is game. This is game for him now. My sap cans can just straight up kill him. Now, turn around, you damn thing. Turn around. Ah, my. This stinks. My onslaught can still do damage, though. Yeah, a lot of this is probably because I can't just straight up boost with my uh, ship or with my cruiser. That's what's making this even more irritating than it probably needs to be. Oh uh, well. If this could come, if only that thing was still alive for more uh, sap cans, because I could still kill him. Hell, my onslaught's being pretty much ignored, so there is that going for me. I'm just curious if he's going to rage at me again, because that felt like he was uh, BMing me, quite frankly. It's, it really does, but yeah, I'm going to have tractor cans in a moment though, so maybe that'll help. It's going to be anyone's game at this point. Hey, I can't help if he can't learn how to use his uh, silent running. If nothing else, if, he's, if he somehow wins this... Or if I somehow win this, it's probably because he could not figure out the concept of basic uh, salt running. I think it's the moral of this story. Because he is also repairing, so there's not much I can do about that. And of course, my repairs aren't working. I have to wait a few seconds because that also bugged out. Don't fail me. Make a warp jump. Nope. Nope, I'm dead. Alright. Uh, well. Not much else I could say there. He had a massive point advantage on me. And if that second cruiser had stayed alive a little bit longer... And if I didn't bug up my own thrusters, that's something I could have probably prevented, honestly. I just got a little too carried away, or wasn't paying as much attention with the micro warp jump. I could still heavily damage him, but that's not going to do much. Oh well, I thought it was game anyway once his generators died, so... This makes it nice. This is a little irritating though, just having to sit and wait. Oh well. I'm not going to leave you all in suspense. We know what's going to happen. Oh, uh, well. We almost won that regardless, despite... What is it? He had all four vanguards, so that's easily what? How many points would that be? 450 at least, so... He didn't have any frigates, so... I'm wondering how many bonus points he actually had for that. I'm pretty certain he had more to spend. Probably for, like, a hunter or something. I want to feel like he may have had more for a hunter anyway. Oh well. Bit of a learning experience there, but in all honesty, I don't think I ever s see a space marine who uses vanguards once they get their battle barges anyway. Kind of a sad fact a little bit, unless they're forced to. Those poor ships are a little bit underrated. Those things are more valuable than probably people realize, and I've been playing space marines like a few months ago, so I would know. I enjoy those things a lot. It they are a bit tricky though, I'm not going to lie, considering they don't really have the benefits of the frigates where the frigates get a bonus to dodging shots due to their, this escort ship trait, which reduces enemy accuracy. But I really enjoy those vanguards nonetheless. Really good for hit and runs, especially with their speed and mobility. That cannot be overlooked. Alright, so we had our test fleet. 
with a, superior, a severe handicap potentially with the level 3 Admiral Fleet battle and now we're gonna fight equal terms so what's the main thing I got going for me here huh, I don't know what he's referring to but okay oh well let's see I could get the death dealer but of course we're dealing with the possibility hmm well he's it's he's 75 armor around so I'm not gonna have an easy time breaking through his shields it's really just a matter of outlasting him and by that I mean outlast waiting until his brace for impact goes down and then that's when I can start murdering him effectively which gives me small windows for doing damage with my mega can quite frankly I don't know what's the optimal I don't know what's the optimal type of fully composition I want though because do I want the death deal it's practically two hammers is right there with the two saps and the two mega can shots but for only 50 points really hard to say I'm gonna have to experiment a little bit I just know micro warp jump is probably he can probably micro warp jump for me oh well the more let's see I lack jams for down with the bashes and that though but now an ultimate trick onslaughts for the chipping damage or do I go with savages there because these things will pretty much die relatively quickly I think onslaughts might be good I want the consistent damage rather than the relying on RNG to break through the 75 armor I don't know if it's the right choice mind you but that's f we'll see I'm just getting distracted a little bit by him calling me a fraud. I'm hurt. I'm insulted. Oh well. It's a crucial clash. I gotta be mindful of beacons though. I guess. It's really damn important as we come to find to not get detected. Especially when boring torpedoes are a threat. That also probably made things more complicated than it probably needed to. So just barely missing that probably hurt me more than I realized too and of course who knows how much of my cruiser was being slowed down because of the close proximity of the other one so there's a lot of things I could have done better there nonetheless let's try and do some more let's do better than last time and that identification just scared me there I don't want to be identified I don't want to be identified but let's group these up quickly and I apologize if the camera is not in the best spot. We'll see. Although I should have done these in groups of three. Oh well. We're all good. Let's get going, shall we? So. Three ships. So is this two battle barges? Let's see. Two battle barges. Well, let's see. It's, it's definitely looking like two battle barges. Oh uh, well. <laughs> oh, she's back. What she wants. So let's see, yeah. Without a doubt, two battle barges. This has promise for me there. I just got to be good at focusing down the one battle barge and somehow forcing his brace for impact in a situation where I probably could or look well burn it out what am I trying to say I want him to burn his brace for impact as soon as possible quite frankly that's all I really want the sooner he burns that the better it gives that way it gives me that much more time to really make him miserable although this hunter is going to complicate things and he's hiding the gas cloud so there's no secret to his strategy he's just going to go kamikaze and then that just allows me to go kamikaze as well I just need to figure out how to get the most out of my uh, 
point defense, quite frankly. That's really what I need. And wow, engines are gone already. Damn. Oh well. We know what his strategy is. So let's go and give him multiple targets to shoot at, shall we? And if possible, I can maybe dodge this. Nope. Not while the boosters are going. Although that one, I can repair that easily enough. I just gotta be ready for it. I just need to be ready for the boring torpedoes. Because I do have tractor cans to help with this. And he's got really good position there. Although, I can abuse this stunt some. I could just hold position the asteroid belt, quite frankly. Now, let's try and do some stuff here. There. There we are. That's an improvement. That helps some. Not much, but it helps some. So why aren't you burning retros? I want you to hide, you damn things. Although, my ships are getting a little bit destroyed, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, that just gives me position permission to just boost on in. Good execution. Not really a very good follow-up, though. So. Now, the plan is simple here. Just kill one battle barge and make it diff mis make it miserable. Although he's with his brace for impact, though he's gonna have time. Only problem is there. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Really hard to say, but it's still taking damage. I'll just wait till stasis bomb goes down. And then just auger disruptor again. Once I can figure out where to jump. Although, do I have enough firepower now? Because with his brace for impact, he can theoretically outlast my auger disruptor combo. So I gotta watch. I gotta try and kill its generator, quite frankly. Really, I'll try and kill the generator. Also, turn off my auger disruptor might be useful here. Okay, generator's gone. Let's focus on this thing. Brace for impacts, not quite gone yet. But he doesn't have a chapter master, so I have that going for me some. Again, I gotta wait for a dang brace for impact to fall off. And it just falls off now, so can I do the damage needed? We'll see. Just remember your which ship you're shooting at. Remember which ship you're shooting at. And also ram each other. That'd be kind of useful too. Although, Devil Battle Barge is a bit of the extreme there a little bit. We are slowly breaking this thing down. This is a big deal of his firepower. Yeah, unfortunately, this doesn't seem like enough firepower, unfortunately. Come on. Why did my boost bug out? 
Did he seriously bug out again? Oh, and now I just helped them inadvertently there. That should die, but he has his brace for impact as well. We're making progress. Sort of. If this was a ranked match, I could happily just uh, warp on out, forfeit this match, and then he would only have one battle barge to utilize, but... There is potential here. There's a lot that I like to this that I could do. Although, if there's any way I could destroy some of his weapons, that'd be useful. Oh, and there goes my dang Mega Can, so. That is unfortunate. This is pretty much over, unfortunately. For, over for me. Now, how could I improve is the big question. Because it's close. It, I'm not going to lie, it's damn close. I may have gotten lucky, though, destroying his, uh, his generator to prevent him on Mike Warp and jumping out, though. But it seemed close enough to say that there's, it, I could potentially win it. Especially with the Mike Warp. What is it, the tractor can to dodge his torpedoes? I just don't have fighters or point defense, which probably is where my, uh, what was it, my blood axe uh, cruiser comes in. Ah, uh, well. That has promise. It was close. Again, it comes down to, aw, uh, and he's complaining. How sweet. Oh uh, well, I wonder how he would feel if he actually lost that, because there was a possibility for it. Again, it comes down to how to punish, how can I, can I do damage with the Brace for Impact, because the big issue is if he has a Chapter Master, then I don't do any damage at all with the Mega Cans, which is very likely to happen out of all the favorite ships. He's likely to have the Chapter Master. So, I'm wondering how I can get a little bit extra damage in. Or, better better question, how can I improve my durability? Because Tractor Can helps a lot dodging those torpedoes, as we clearly saw. I just don't think I have the point defense to shoot him down, so... That's probably where the Gorks, Gorks Ripa comes in, quite frankly. It has a Novacan to ignore the brace for impact a little bit there but the prow is sure, sure to break at some point it also has torpedoes which helps so maybe maybe that's where his Gork Rip, Gork's Ripper comes in that may be the secret also maybe another sh blood axe ship might be a good idea too but of course the problem then becomes may will I have a proper setup. I'm thinking more rank mode, mind you. I could probably easily get away with two uh, Blood Axe light cruisers for persistent mode, because I got all these other ships for fielding. But if this was a rank mode game, it might not be as simple, especially with attrition to keep in mind. But that is also a possibility. That Blood Axe cruiser alone, if it could get multiple Novacans hit, let alone the torpedoes are like the only prow weapon I can use to actually negate their armor. That probably could have won me that match. I'm not going to lie. I didn't need the tractor cans as much. This has a lot of promise. It's just a matter of getting a winning strategy with it now. Because there's no way it can really get worse, I want to argue. Well, that's I'm completely wrong. He could have a chapter master. Because we basically fought two battle barges. It can't possibly get worse with Space Marines, right? In terms of their power and durability. But no, he could have a Chapter Master still. And who knows what upgrades he may have been lacking there.